Erev Tov, good. Yeah. Yes. Erev Tov, good evening. This evening we are uh, honoring someone very special to us to light the menorah, to light the Hanukkiah. And this is uh, our dear friend and partner, Avi Avraham Uvaknin. Hashem Yishmerev Chayil. Before I call you up, I want to make a very strong connection between the efforts that you put into our community as uh, to, to the miracle and the story of, of Hanukkah. We all know that the Greeks were a little more political than the Persians. The Persians, when it came to Haman, they said, I don't care. We're going to kill. We're going to do what we have to do. We're going to get rid of the Jews. The Greeks were a little different. They said, stay Jewish, be Jewish, but don't do three different things. Don't keep Shabbat, don't count your calendars with Rosh Chodesh, and don't circumcise your children. In other words, they were being politically correct to saying, no living life like a Jew, no living life learning Torah. But again, they did it all politically correct. And what did we do? What was our victory? Our victory was obviously the physical war. It was the finding of the oil. But most importantly, it was the victory of religious freedom, being able to practice our religion openly and freely. To that, I'll mention very quickly, the Zerah Shimshon says a beautiful Hidush. He says, where do we light our candles? Where do we light the Hanukkah candles? We light them by the front door. We light them by the window in order to publicize the miracle. He says, the Zerah Shimshon says, that when the Greeks would come into people's houses, they would barge in through the front door and check, is any Torah being studied? Are they counting their calendar? Are they preparing to, to, to do a Brit Milah? Are they keeping Shabbat? He says, midah keneged midah, right at the place where we were always scared of them, by the front door where they used to barge in, that's exactly where we're going to place our Hanukkiah, our menorah, place it over there and show to them, we are able to be free, we're able to practice our religion. It's a beautiful concept. To that I want to say that Avi Abraham, our dear friend and partner, he stands first and foremost for our community and most importantly for the Torah study in our community. Him and his brother, Shem Yishmer Mechayem, they opened open our kolel, they founded our kolel, they help continue our, our kolel in every way possible. They understand the most important part about being a Jew starts with the Torah. Once a person has Torah, once a person lives their life with Torah, then everything else will follow. Prayers will follow, mitzvot will follow. Obviously, one of the most important, being respectful, derech eretz, kadmala Torah, everything will follow. Everything will, will continue. And the Avi Baal Hashem has no shame. He'll stand up for what's right. He'll stand up for the Torah, no matter whether it's popular or not too popular. And with that, Avi, we give you a tremendous blessing to continue. Just like the Zerah Shimshon says, just right by the front door, that's where we put our menorah, Pirsum Nes. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will always bless you to continue to being Mifarsim the Torah Kedoshah, to publicizing, spreading, helping, supporting, learning also, Amen. as you do, a lot of Torah and spreading it. And I, pre I appreciate and I'm expressing my gratitude to you on behalf of everyone in our whole community. Chazak Baruch. Please come up. And Los Israel.